What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as China. In the previous part, we settled the uh, city of Guangzhou, or uh, however you pronounce that, I, I do not know. Uh, we also started working on some of our campuses so that we can improve our... Hey. So we can improve our uh, science. That's going to be pretty nice. Uh, we also made a harbor in Beijing, or we finished it rather, and we built the Colossus Wonder, as we can see right here. Uh, so that's really nice. We now have four trait routes available, uh, which is pretty great, and what else? Oh yeah, I just realized that Fukuoka has actually fallen my religion instead of Japan's religion, uh, which is probably because we're right next to them. So it looks like my religion actually might be uh, pretty powerful right here. Uh, we are in second place next to Gandhi. But look at the faith that this guy is producing already. What is he? What? Apparently, I'm also the uh, technology leader, and I don't feel like I should be, uh, but I'll take it. So, okay, Leventus under attack, I believe by Gandhi, actually. Uh, but I guess Gandhi has just been making, you know, uh, holy sites in every single city that he has. That is the only explanation why he would have such a ridiculous amount of faith. Uh, but all right. So yeah, we're working on more districts, uh, because our science game is, is alright. We have not been focusing on it whatsoever, and we would like to. Someone made the Terracotta Army. And Japan is still happy with me. Because apparently I'm just not exploring enough. Look at that, it actually shows you this stuff on the, uh, on the mini-map. Uh, do not show your blade unless you mean to strike, move your soldiers. Alright, I'm just passing by. Don't worry. Unless, what is he talking about? Maybe he's talking about my war- This guy standing inside of my own borders? <laughs> That's not very reasonable. Uh, but alright. Alright, so we're trading from Chengdu, and we want to trade with Egypt, so we'll just trade with their capital. Uh, it's not the best, but it will ensure. Alright, the increase of commerce through your lands will soon attract a trade fair, so we got a boost towards medieval fairs, which is what we wanted. Uh, so that's really nice. We're gonna grab some of this coffee as well. Yeah, this guy's got one built left in him, so we're just gonna grab that uh, coffee out there. Yes, we're gonna have our spearmen kill the scout. This was the plan all along. And your spearmen are proving effective, but now your opponents are stronger and faster. Perhaps a longer weapon is needed. So we got a boost for military tactics, uh, which will allow us to upgrade this spearman into a pikeman. Uh, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, all we really gotta do though is to build an aqueduct still and get universities in our campuses that we're still making. Uh, but we'll see. Alright, you can go back now. We also allied ourselves actually with uh, Hattusha, we're now their suzerain. Meaning that I now get one of every strategic resource that I've revealed but I do not own. Uh, meaning that we can actually, if we want to, do this. And just like that, we have one swordsman. Actually, I'm gonna move this guy back a bit. Alright, we need to wait one more turn and then we can upgrade our uh, second warrior into a swordsman as well. Uh, we can also upgrade our archers into crossbowmen, but that's quite expensive. So expensive, in fact, that I simply cannot afford it. Gandhi, you best be getting out of my way right now. You did not just do what I think you did. So, Gandhi's clearly going after that religious victory. He's got so many apostles already. I'm actually going to ask him to stay away from me with those missionaries and stuff. Uh, discuss. Don't convert me. Though I will respect your wishes, I am disappointed that you cannot see the error of your ways. Let's also send him some gold. Doesn't want to do it. Again. Even though, you know, we're friends, I'm keeping the peace. Alright, this is sort of a mixed bag, but it should be alright. Sorta. Slightly. How about you? Alright, so apparently my military is good enough now, so that is nice to see. Alright, this guy needs orders. Well, just stay there. That's my order. How about that? Alright, you can go back to friendly territory. Get me some coffee. Let's also send this guy back home. 
so we were actually trying to figure out another spot to settle, but we haven't actually found any reasonable spot yet. Uh, which is a bummer. Yeah, we need housing in uh, Beijing pretty... Pretty desperately. The lighthouse that we're producing will give us one extra housing, but it's still not that good. Uh, basically what we want to get there is going to be a neighborhood. But it's not until much later that we can actually get that. So we're going to have to keep finding ways to do this. Still get, we're going to get a great artist as well, but that's probably not going to happen. I completed a quest for Zanzibar, which was... what? I guess make a campus, that has to be it, alright. So I'm their suzerain again, just like that. Uh, I want to make sure it stays that way because they're giving me some luxury resources that I would, uh... I'd like to keep those. Uh, we're gonna make a library. Straight up, just do that. First of all, because it does improve our science, and then also if we get to universities later on, uh, we get a boost for printing, which I would love. So let's try and do that. And, alright, another thing I really wanted to do... ...is get some apostles... ...to spread our religion, first of all amongst ourselves, and basically anybody that doesn't really mind uh, too much. So not Japan or India, because they'll get very upset with me. But some city-states wouldn't be that bad. Or maybe even Egypt. Do they have a religion? Taoism. Alright, so there's zero cities that actually follow this. So if I convert her instead of Gandhi, it shouldn't be that bad. Alright, so an upgrade for our apostle. Yeah, Martyr's an interesting one. I haven't actually seen this yet, but I do know that it will create a relic if this guy dies. Uh, when he fights other apostles, and they don't physically fight, but it's sort of an influence battle. It's a bit weird. How about you? Martyr. Alright, I'm gonna use this guy to actually spread it in Egypt, because it'll be triple strength. And then the other guy can just sort of defend ourselves from the Indian apostles. And we, if, we, if he dies in combat, and he will, we'll make sure he does, we'll get a relic, which is nice. That'll give us some extra faith. And culture, I believe? Or tourism, actually. That could be it. Uh, Alright, so in our new tiny little city, we're gonna grab the aqueduct that we were, uh, that we needed, really. And I'm gonna buy... Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Buy that tile. I really wanna buy this one, but we gotta save up a little bit more. And I'm just gonna make the aqueduct, because we have to. Uh, make it both next to the city center and on a, I believe, flat, um, tile. So these are the only two options, sadly. And let's go with that one. But the thing is, we really do need an aqueduct, though. Just to improve the housing around there. They don't have access to fresh water, or any water, actually. Uh, so an aqueduct will fix that. And aqueducts look really cool. Which is yet another reason to make them. Alright, so we're going to send the Apostles out. Uh, we should probably also try converting our own city, although that's going to be quite easy, and a missionary should uh, suffice there. In fact, we should be able to make a missionary in uh, Chengdu, because they also have a shrine. And that way they're going to be a lot closer to home. Don't try converting me again, Gandhi. Looks like Japan's actually about to lose Leventa. I'm hoping they get liberated. Because that would be uh, quite good for me. Alright. So we uh, entered... People can have the Model T in any color. So long as it's black. We entered the Renaissance era. Uh, we're supposed to make a campus for Toronto, which is actually great because we are making one. Commercial hub for Valletta. And trigger Eureka for cartography for Zanzibar. So we're going to have to make another harbor. That could be an issue, actually. That's going to be a real challenge. All right. The Guild's Civic. Yeah, we can get that pretty quickly. Let's do it. We're going to get the boost right on time, so we can actually uh, do that. 
Not a problem. Uh, Alright, so this is the guy with translator. Meaning we actually want to use him for his uh, intended purpose. Which is uh, converting other sieves. Then I'm gonna get a missionary. So that we can convert... Uh, Guangzhou to our religion. Because they're currently following the wrong one. Alright, so let's finish our lighthouse. This is going to take a while. We might have to actually make a builder to fix the damage here. Because this is going to take way too long. Uh, they're already getting a bit of extra production because of a trait route that we set up with the capital, I believe. But still, 24 turns a bit too long, honestly. He is still going after my cities, it looks like. Don't like seeing that. Alright, this is the martyr one. Do it. Alright, that's not bad. We're gonna bring this guy over to Egypt and hope that they don't kill him. In the little uh, theological combat stuff. So, great lighthouse. The shipyard is the, the new building that we could make. Thing is, we really need... Um, housing here, because we simply do not have enough. We have way too low housing. Uh, so if we get medieval walls here, that should uh, fix that. Because it's because of our government, which is monarchy, we get plus two housing for every city with um, rights. Let's get you... I don't know if they're safe in the city. Let's just wait for now. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna get medieval walls in every city is basically our goal because because that's gonna give us two housing in that particular city At least temporarily there we go. That's right. You kill that you kill my apostle The funny thing is that I want him to die. Oh My god, there's so many man we might actually have to pass through Japanese territory or something uh, there's an encampment here. That's really dangerous. It's gonna be really risky for me to, um... Man, look at the Indian elephants. Those are cool. But it's gonna be really risky for me to get the Apostle to Egypt safely. It's just, if they actually start spreading my religion, that's gonna make my life a lot easier. Alright, look at that. So, I'm actually going to do... That. I'm just going to pass through Japanese territory. And it looks like my religion is because I just won in uh, theological combat. My religion is actually um, getting a little bit stronger in my own territory. That's really cool. So just by making sure that you take down enemy apostles and stuff like that. Uh, you can make your own religion stronger. You don't even have to spread it yourself sometimes. Yeah, we're going to make that university, absolutely. Improve our science. It's already quite good. But making it better is also uh, nice. I'm going to work that, actually. I want to speed up this university. Because that's also going to boost uh, astronomy. Which unlocks another wonder that I wouldn't mind making. Uh, it would be... It would be a, a kind of... Hard to make it, but uh, I'd like to try. Absolutely. Because the uh, Patala Palace gives you plus one diplomatic policy slot and then a bit of culture and faith. But just that policy slot alone is, you know, that's really, really uh, valuable. Alright, please, please tell me he kills the Apostle. I need this Apostle to die. Just so we get, can actually get a relic. Egypt made ancient walls over there. I, I'm not really sure if India is going to be able to take this city. They should be able to do it, but yes, there we go. So our influence is actually going to go down a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. We do get the Stone of Scone, which is <laughs> that's just a weird name. Uh, but that's giving us plus four faith and a tourism, which is quite nice. Uh, he wants two of my luxuries. I'm gonna say no, actually, because this offers garbage. 
And then also, um, once we get more cities, we want at least two copies of uh, luxuries when we can. So I'm just gonna try and get that. Alright, what is that? Relic created. Unit was killed. Promise was broken to me by India. Immediately, pretty much. And we're gonna... Oh, no. That would be terrible. Just run past him. That's clearly... That is the best strategy to employ here. Yes, take him out. Do that. Alright, if we actually get to beat him, that would uh, increase our influence again. Make it a library. And then we get two envoys now because we're sort of a higher uh, government type. You, you start with one and eventually you get two and then three uh, every couple of influence points. So we're going to grab Hattusha and Zanzibar again. Yeah. That does seem like the, the best idea right now. Uh, let's see, that's too expensive. But this is something I want to do though, which is do that. Basically, try and steal as many tiles away from Egypt as we are, or from uh, Japan as we possibly can, really. Just want to do that. All right. You get to safety, or I don't know, help defending against uh, Japan if they try to do something, which they haven't done. And in fact, they seem to quite like me. So there might not be a fight after all. Oh boy. And he took Leventa. Now I'm hoping that at the end of the war he'll actually liberate the city. Oh no. Yep, that guy's dead. There goes my apostle. That sucks because that means that my religion is uh, going down. It is actually going up now though. Because we beat his, uh, his apostle. War are gonna need a lot more apostles is basically uh, the gist of this. Nope, he took Leventa for himself. He's gonna keep it. <laughs> Why? Gandhi, I thought you were the nice guy, but he's got like all these cities now. Acting like a like a crazy guy. So I guess they've made peace then, or maybe they haven't made peace yet. I'm not really sure. All right, let's get you up there. He needs to get to Guangzhou so we can actually convert them. And I'm just going to go ahead and get as many apostles as I can possibly afford. There we go. And then in, in this city, we're going to get a missionary and another one. And that'll have to do for now. Let's just station all of those around this city. Because if we can beat uh, India in this theological warfare, then our... Um, what is going on here, man? Who is he fighting? Is that Vilnius? Or Japan? Oh, it's Japan. All right. It's getting a little bit freaky here. I'm not sure I approve of all this. Oh my god, this city's got plus six amenities. So yeah, the, the, the growth and the, the yields are looking real good. Yeah, that would be, that would be murder. Straight murder. So, missionary is not going to be able to make it to safety. Let's just run over there then. Try and run around maybe? I don't know what to do here. Alright, so all these other missionaries are going to be fodder. Can convert all Jason Barbarians to your side. I mean, we could, we could try that. It's not the best upgrade, but they're random. Uh, like you just saw. So sometimes they'll be bad, sometimes they're good. Alright, get those walls. Alright, that guy's an upgrade available as well. And we're going to trade with... I guess we maybe were trading with Leventa, but now it switched owners. Let's, let's do that again. Why not? Alright, this missionary can... Sure, let's spread it once. Because why not? Uh, if we could get Japan to follow my religion, that would actually be perfect. Because if they start 
getting involved and sort of pushing my religion, that would mean that Gandhi's gonna have a much uh, harder time, you know, pushing his stuff. We are already uh, doing apparently pretty good in the, in the culture department, which I wasn't even trying, so I mean, that's pretty cool. Someone's capital was captured. Oh my god, alright, we need a lot more faith. Your emer emerging guilds have plants that require a large influx of gold. Perhaps we can find a way to let them take out a loan. If you owe the bank $100, that's your problem. If you owe the bank $100 million, that's the bank's problem. Alright, so that gives us the bank building and another nice uh, wonder. Probably not gonna make it, but you, you know. go around arresting the thieves guild. I mean, we'd be at it all day. Some interesting policies, but uh, let's see. I don't think we want to use them, though. Definitely want to stick with my uh, with my faith stuff there. I didn't even realize that it sort of like blacks out like that. But it appears to be slightly buggy or something. I don't know. Uh, all right, so I don't want to use any of these. So basically, we're good. Righty. Let's make our way over there. Alright, this guy's got an upgrade. Ready to go. So you're gonna rush to the city. Yeah, let's have you hang around here. I'm gonna have you go there and then... It's the same kind of garbage upgrades. Let's just go with... Uh, three extra spreads, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's finish Medieval Fairs, first of all. And we're gonna finally get our university here as well. Uh, I would love to make a, a walls right now for the housing, but the thing is that we're growing too quickly here. So that's just the way it is. Uh, so getting a bit of extra science is a lot better right about now. And then we're going to finish, let's say, Military Tactics. All right, 15 turns for many. This city's grown incredibly fast as well. All right, that's the best we're gonna get for now. Let's just buy the tile that we wanted finally. So this is all connected now. That's what I like to see. Uh, the only remaining thing is to buy some tiles this way. Oh, well, we can buy that one. And that's pretty much the limit. Like we can buy that one and that one. And then it's just, you know, up to hope. We just gotta hope that we can actually connect them. Uh, that'd be cool, though. For some reason, I just always really like having a, uh... Sort of connected... Ooh, there's barbarians over there. Maybe we can try to convert them. Uh, let's see. We have a good amount of spreads. I'm gonna spread once. So now our capital is a little bit more, uh... Faithful. Devout, I don't even know. Um, and we're gonna try to get some barbarians here. If there's any good ones, we might be able to just grab them, add them to our armies. What is he doing? Yes, let's get an embassy. Let's do that. I have the feeling that Japan and I are gonna be pretty good friends. What kind of sucks for Japan is that his religion is not really catching on. I have converted Fukuoka. I'm about to convert Tokyo without even trying. And uh, Zanzibar has already followed my religion as there well. Are very honest people who do not think that they have had a bargain unless they have cheated a merchant. All right, so this gives us some pretty nice policies as well. Thing is, I wish I had more economic policies, but this is just the way it is for now. We're probably going to use this one later to get a bunch of gold. Yeah, we're going to keep trying to push for that uh, scientist, though. All right, so he killed my unit. We can we can buy another missionary if we would uh, like to. There we go. All right, let's go see if there's any good good barbarians out there. Please be something sick that I actually want. Alright, so I have six cities following your religion. We should be able to get that extremely quickly, actually. So, we're gonna go for that. 
uh, which will give us the uh, government type theocracy. You can buy land units with faith. All units plus five religious strength. That could be good for us. Also, a discount on faith bonuses, uh, which can also be pretty good. Or on faith purchases, I mean. Uh, so, buying apostles and stuff like that is going to be a little bit cheaper if you uh, go with that, you know, government type. So, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, apparently missionaries are just not very good for converting stuff or for uh, for religious combat, which is kind of a bummer. That's just the way it is. If we were to walk him over there, he would gain a bunch of extra spreads. Actually, let's try that because there's Mount Everest. If we could get the extra spreads, that would be uh, quite powerful. All right. Man, his religious map's kind of jarring on the eyes, honestly. It's just a bit much, honestly. You can also see what type of faith or how much faith you're getting from your holy sites and stuff like that. So we can see that he's got like a bunch of holy sites here and there. He's got one there. He's got uh, th three over here. And he's got one here as well. Maybe he just made some crazy wonders or something. All right, convert my own city, please. All right, so the apostle is going to run that way. There we go. Yeah, this is looking good. I think I still don't entirely get. Okay, it's one spear, man. That is absolutely not worth the uh, the wasting of an apostle. All right, run. Run for your life, man. I know you can make it. All right, so soon we're going to get our universities. We already have a lead when it comes to science. A decent enough lead that we just made a lot bigger by making these campuses. But uh, I am a little bit worried about India and their religion, though. We've already converted all of Egypt. Strategy requires thought. Tactics require observation. All right, so we can make pikemen now, uh, which is, I mean, cool, I guess. I'm not going to do it, but, you know, that's cool. Let's go grab Mount Everest. And let's see. Build an aqueduct. We're about to do that, actually. Uh, build two universities in 11. Yep, that'll do. That will do. Let's grab printing. And let's get this guy back to whatever. He's got two more spreads, so we should probably try and uh, convert. Possibly just go after Kyoto, honestly. I know that Japan would be annoyed. But he's so weak in religion right now that I feel like we could actually just eradicate his own religion. If we do this well. And get him to spread our religion around. And then it would be me in Japan versus India and Egypt. That would be an interesting little dynamic. Do I really have to ask him again not to spread? Don't spread. He keeps saying that he'll do it, but he doesn't do it. That's the thing. All right, we can purchase a mosque. I mean, I don't think I want to do that, but uh, that's cool. Uh, all right, let's get you down there. I honestly don't even know how these guys get um, experience. Absolutely no idea. And the worst part is that I know that Gandhi's lying again. He's just going to spread it. Yep, there we go. He just did it. Oh, actually, that was Japan, I think. Interesting choice, Japan. He just switched governments twice in like two turns. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Alright, so we are on the rise here. So we got four... Uh, your scientists are hiking into the mountains for a sharper view of the heavens. Maybe a permanent facility would help. Which would be, uh, I guess, Batal Palace? That's all it does, really. 
Which is a bit weird, like the observatory is gone now. Great library, that's a no for me. I would prefer not to make that. Let's get a mosque over here. Or... Yeah, let's get a mosque. Just faith. I want more faith. I want to be able to at least defend myself from Gandhi. I don't have to win a religious victory. Uh, I don't care about it that much, but I would like to stop Gandhi from converting my stuff. Because he's being a real bitch about it, and he's just annoying. Turns out I don't like it when people are annoying. Get an apostle. There you go. Alright, so he's got seven spreads now, which is actually really impressive. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Kyoto. We're gonna convert the hell out of it. And then we're gonna do the same to Tokyo and Carthage, and uh, bada bing bada boom. You know, Japan's converted. Just like that. That's great. Alright, so we're actually about to get- we're, we have to stop working on printing now. Or we're gonna waste a term of a turn of science. All right, let's get you over there. Let's do this. Oh my God, he's already there. I don't like that. Extra religious strength. I like that. Let's do it. Uh, we can claim a merchant, which will instantly build a bank and a market. I like that as well. That's quite good. All right, your new great merchant is sharing ideas on how we can get the edge in our economic competitors. Your progress towards mercantilism has advanced considerably. The ideas from your great people have inspired intellectual discussion throughout the land. Your progress toward the enlightenment has advanced. So that's uh, that's some nice boosts right there. All right, let's see. So this guy's a bit stronger in religious combat, so I'd like him to be I can see you there, you know that, Gandhi. So we could actually use this guy here, but that would be a massive waste. What we want to do is get our merchant over to uh, a city like Chengdu or maybe uh, Guangzhou. Make an economic hub, use him there, and then the hub will just be ready to go. So that would be uh, really nice. Alright, let's we'll just finish the university though. It's about time we did that. Seriously, how am I supposed to compete with all these? He's got so much faith per turn. It's incredible. He must have so many different policies and buildings that all produce faith. That's the only thing I can actually think of. What even is his religion? Like, what does it do? He's probably got a lot of synagogues or something. All right. The pen might not be mightier than the sword. But maybe the printing press is heavier than the siege weapon. Just a few words can change everything. Uh, combat units gain plus 10 combat strength within the borders of friendly cities that follow this religion. So that's also good for him. But it's mostly a defensive thing, so it's a bit weird. Alright, let's go after Kyoto. Let's do this. Uh, over in Xi'an, we're going to grab... He's gonna get the walls, just for the housing. The city's gonna grow so big. Alright, so we're gonna grab astronomy. Because we do have that, you know, boost. Uh, right, the merchant, yes. Uh, just hang around Chengdu. We'll get a- we'll get a hub going there. And then we'll- they'll fix that right up. Hello, Kyoto. How are you doing? Just sure to convert you. I know you're out there, Paz. Where'd you go? Is he really there? No, he's not. He is definitely not. Alright, let's uh, do this. See if he'll attack me in religious combat. We should be able to win. Because we do have that extra upgrade that gives him, you know, higher combat strength or whatever. I'm still not entirely sure how it works. It seems like the defender is usually in the, uh, the... has the upper hand. So, I, that was a success, what we just saw. We gotta keep that up. This guy's about to be pushed away from my borders, finally. Been looking forward to that for a while. He's still converting me. Unbelievable. Alright, you can sleep now, merchant man. 
Broke the promise again. All right. Listen, I'm going to warn him one more time. And he says, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, I'm going to denounce him after this. And then the the next uh, option would be war. I hope it doesn't come to that, but it just might. All right, here we go. We're bundling our apostles a little bit together and hope that that sort of helps out. Yep, there you go. All right, so we're going to go after Kyoto here. Don't worry, Japan. Soon you will see the error of your ways. I'm just going to convert his capital real quick, and after that I'm going to end the video. Because it's already so long, but I just can't stop playing. Because this is actually kind of interesting. Alright, so we beat um, one of his apostles just now. We, we're doing, we're still doing good. I don't know if these guys can heal though. That's the thing, like can they, can they actually heal or... Because if that is the case, we want to keep these guys alive. Instead of just wasting them like this. Well, he's converted Beijing, there we go. Dude, this guy's a jerk. Wait, somehow this guy actually did just get healed up. Alright, well just chill or something. Keep doing what you're doing because apparently it is working. I honestly think this city should really just make a shipyard. Because a shipyard gives us a little bit extra housing if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, some extra production. Stuff like that. It's not bad. Uh, we just gotta make sure that we... You know, let's do that instead. Uh, I wanna try and get it as quickly as I can, really. That should speed it up a little bit. Alright, you're good. Come on, Kyoto. You know you wanna follow me. Is there a way for me to see, or...? They're not angry at me, at least that's a good thing. So... If we go to my religion... Cities containing religion. And then Kyoto. Alright, one, two, one. So we actually are about to convert Kyoto. Uh, which means that at that point, I think that Japan should start trying to spread my religion instead of his own. So that'll be quite nice. Anyway, guys, this video is way, way too long. I'm going to end it here. I hope you all enjoyed. In the next part, we're going to do more stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.